Welcome to another edition of the 2023 Crokinole Accelerate. Players are going to get right into the action. But for the viewers at home, this match is between Connor Reinman and Ray Beerling versus Jeremy Tracy and Ron Langell, all top 10 ranked National Crokinole Association players currently in the season. Now up to shoot is Ron Langell. Connor Ryman has scored a 20, and Ron gets his own, equalizing the 20s cup. A restart to this game with all players having taken a shot. Ryman strains an open 20. Jeremy coming up short, not liking that result as he leaves Beerling. A very nice shot, which he doesn't quite capitalize on. Looks like he's going for the touch 20 and did not convert. Langell also leaving two discs within the 15 region. A potential double lined up for Reinman, probably going for a 20. Taking it from an angle that we are not going to see the action. But it looks like he got one off, no 20 though. Jeremy to shoot. Does not touch another disc. An invalid shot. Leaving Ray with an opportunity. Similar situation. He doesn't get the 20, but he knocks his own discs away to not leave Langell with an easy shot at the 20. Looks like he's going for the angle in. From the 5, a very tough shot. Doesn't quite get it, leaving his disc in the 10. Reinman now. Not getting the off. Now they are up in the 20s cup. However, Tracy and Langell have hammer. And Tracy equalizes the 20s cup. Making this into an interesting situation. Very good spot for Langell and Tracy. Beerling knocking an opponent's disc as well as his own disc off the board. Langell drains a 20, now up in the 20th cup with Hammer. Ryanman and Beerling need to make something happen here to stay in this round. Jeremy with the off. Ray looking to stay inside the pegs. <laughs> the players are joking about a foul. Apparently there was a spinning disc still. This is a friendly match, so not a big deal. Tracy and Landrell trying to stay on the outside as much as possible so not to give Reinman an opportunity. Reinman doesn't get the off and knocks his own shooter off the board. Langell now finishes around with an open 20, inconsequential. Tracy and Langell going up 2 nothing in this game. Jeremy with that beautiful angle in. Going to the second round now. Tracy starting off with an open 20. Barreling to respond as well with his own. Langell as well. Not much hesitation in dropping that. And now we are fully around the table. Open 20 as they stop for conversation. Because this is just another day in the office for these top players. Draining 20s like this. Whoever finished the, the post was or somebody oh. with a partner. having a conversation yeah, about last year's oh. U.S. Open. Jeremy now back into the game, shoots the 20. Like I said, easy to have a casual conversation when dropping shots like that is so easy for these top players. Landrill with his own. And Ryman now twice around the board. Players with perfect shots. Tracy the first to mess up, coming up a little bit short. Not leaving an easy 20 for Beerling. At the very least, an off here. Gets the off and has his disc very close to the post. Langell going for a posted 20. Doesn't quite get it, at least gets the opponent's disc off the post. Now Ryman and Beerling with two discs in the 15. With Hammer, this is a good spot for them to be in. Beerling content to keep play on the outside. 
Landrill looking for a way in. Catches a peg to keep his disc in the 15. Reinman without the off. Leaving an interesting situation for Tracy though. Looks like he's going for the 20, hoping that his disc on the board will touch the opponent's disc, and he gets it. Going up in the 20s cup. Bierling and Reinman still not in a horrible position with two discs on the board. Potentially three now. Doesn't get the off. Catches a peg on the way out. The red disc staying on. Langel with a nice double now. Putting Reinman and Bierling in a tricky situation and a bump of the table. <laughs> Players having a good laugh again. Casual match. Normally you try not to bump the table like that, but not very high stakes here. I think there's like 20 bucks on the table for whoever wins this tournament. Probably more than that, but anyways. Either way, players are not terribly upset about that foul. Burling looking to get in. Gets a double. Almost a 20. Just dips out of the hole. Leaving Landro with a backboard, which he converts. <laughs> Up to 20s now. Not much that Reinemann can do to bring this round back. Looks like it's going to be 4 nothing for Tracy and Langel. Another playback of that very nice 20 for Tracy. And this double for Langel, which really changed the tides of this game. Beerling to open. Drains the 20. Landrill also to follow. And we're a full way around the board. Players just dropping 20s left and right. Ryman, the first to mess up. The disc just bouncing out of the hole, leaving a nice backboard for Jeremy, which he doesn't convert, leaving something for Beerling to work with. And he drains it with Beerling and Reinman now going up in the 20s cup. Langel to balance it out. And Reinman coming up a little bit short, potentially. Oh! Ouch! Oh! <laughs> Jeremy taking the 20 out. Insistent that he put the opponent's 20 in the cup for them. Beerling does not like hands out. Overshoots his own disc, making an invalid shot. Didn't want Jeremy's gift. Reinman now dropping a 20. They're still up, but Landro and Tracy still have hammer. Which means it's still anybody's round. Beerling coming up a little bit short. Get in or get away. A potential opportunity for Langel. Tracy telling Langel to either get in or get away. To either drop the 20 or to get away so Ryman does not have an opportunity. Oh, and he man. gets it. Just sliding in. Very nice shot. Ryman coming up a little bit short again. Tracy happy to keep play on the outside. They're up in the 20s and they have hammer. Beerling needing something big. If him and Ryman want to stay in this game. Ops to peel. Meaning that Ryman will need to do something big with his last shot to stay in this round. Langel with heat off and the 20. Beautiful shot and sealing this round for Langel and Tracy. Ryman drops a nice 20. But Tracy drops his own. Inconsequential as they were already up. Very nice shots from both teams, but Langel and Tracy come out on top, bringing this game to 6 nothing. They guaranteed the win on the match. However, there's still one round left. Beerling and Ryman have an opportunity to get two points for themselves before this game is over. Langel overshoots. Ryman happy to hit and stick. Tracy now going for the follow through, but setting up Beerling for a very nice backboard. Beerling drains it and gets the off. Landrill to equalize it, but Beerling and Ryman do have hammer, so. Tracy now getting the off, but his disc bouncing out 
not getting the 20 he was probably hoping for. Beerly, Beerling, uh, trying to hide it away. Landrill and Tracy yeah. debating oh, okay. the yep. best way to take this, whether to come the through the pegs yeah, to fine. try to stay on the inside or to tuck it away from I Reinman. Landrill opts to leave Reinman with a somewhat tough shot, having to go through Hogan's Alley. Gets it and sticks. Very nice shot from Reinman. Tracy now probably to come in. And overshoots it. Looks like it just dipped in and out of the hole. Beerling leaving his disc very nicely in that awkward spot between the pegs. Like Landrill will come from the inside. Bringing play firmly back to the middle. <laughs> Ryman now not with the off and setting up Jeremy for a nice shot. And Jeremy gets a 20 going up in the 20s cup. Now, Beerling and Reinman still are not out of this. They have Hammer and soon to have two discs on the board. If the round were to end now, they would be up just by five points. Oh. Langel does not get the off or the 20. Reinman and Beerling now in a very comfortable position. Three discs on the board, only down 120. If they can maintain the board like this, they will clench this final round. Tracy left with an awkward, awkward shot. Talking about how they need a 20, Please just discussing how to make that happen. None of the leaves are quite nice enough to make this an easy shot. Jeremy looks like he might have been going for a double. Gets one off, demotes the other down to the 5 region but also leaves something very nice for Beerling, which he converts. Now tying the 20 cup. One shot each for our players around the board. Landrill and Tracy need to make something happen. Peels into the middle, leaving Reinman with an opportunity here. Getsy off and the 20 going up in the 20s cup. One shot for each team. And Tracy gets a 20, but all Beerling needs is the off. Not the easiest shot, but he gets it. Because for him, that's just another day in the office. Beautiful shots. Ryman and Beerling seal this final round, bringing the score for 6-2. A win for Tracy and Langell, but a very exciting match nonetheless. Thanks again for tuning in to another edition of the 2023 Crokinole Accelerate. Subscribe to our channel if you want to see more Crokinole content, if that be matches or skills tips as to how to become the best. My name is Garrett Tracy, and as always, happy flicking.